What's up guys? Welcome to Digital Artist React. Today we're gonna uh, start a new part of the Digital Artist React which is the Behance Peaks. The Behance Peaks, I don't know if you are on Behance or not, so I'm gonna, just gonna give you the full disclaimer. Behance is the biggest worldwide portfolio network that we have, it's owned by Adobe. A lot of artists are there and it's well known by the art community as the biggest portfolio and it's pretty much where I see a lot of references that influence my work and everything. So today we're gonna start this new part of the Digital Artist React. We have the reaction for the movie posters and other things where we can go deep and analyze that but on the Behance Speaks we are gonna analyze the work of great artists and we are gonna try to figure out what they did to get to this result that is amazing, okay? So today we're gonna show a studio that has been in my life since I started this journey on retouching and digital art. It's the Platinum FMD from Rio. I have a lot of respect from for these people, for Flavio, for Leo Vilela, for Luciano, and I have other friends that work there like Diego Oliveira and other people. So today on the Behance Speaks, we're not gonna suggest or critique too much. We're gonna grab work from people that are already famous, already solidifying the market, and we're gonna try to reverse back. We're gonna look at the final image and then we're gonna try to reverse back looking at everything, analyzing, hey, maybe this was, was briefed for this and trying to discover like how they executed everything, okay? All right, so first of all, let's look at the project itself. It's a project from Platinum for Philadelphia, which is a cream cheese. And we have here the first image, which is a cheesecake on top. And we have this environment with this dude, the guy and his dog. And at first glance, you pretty much see that they want to combine the both images and make, make sure that they work together, that they're visually pleasing together and they have some sort of continuation there. So here we look at details, we see the nice dog, we see the cake and this is some shots that they post here, which I believe we're gonna get in this soon, but I don't know if you guys know, Leo Vilela is the photographer of Platino. He's one of the best photographers of the world. So, but Platino, it's also really good on CGI. So we're gonna kind of analyze that and see what we can discover, like, or how we can this, this how we can, solve this mystery. Yeah, that's a better word. Okay, so this is pretty much like the initial sketch and this is on Platino Behance guys. If you got if you want to go check it out, Platino FMD on Behance and we'll see we'll see all their work there. Then they evolve pretty much I think this is kind of the agency or the client sketch and say hey this is what we're envisioning and I think this is what Platinum did for like hey this is what we're thinking this is kind of a rough sketch with kind of the colors that we want to use and this is kind of the light direction that we want to use and then they go to the final version. This is the second part here, the second image, same style. You can see, show all the details. This is really nice, really well done. Platinum is known by its craft and detail work. They have been doing this for more than 30 years this is a little gif so you can see how it was evolving which kind of makes you feel like and eh, this is maybe cgi this is maybe photo combined i don't know this is the some shots of the kids on fake snow and this is the sketch here probably from the agency like we saw on the other one and then we see probably the sketch from platino to them to kind of lock down colors and everything and this is the end of the project. So now we're gonna come here on my studio and we're gonna try to figure out and we're gonna try to analyze this and 
see how were they able to get such a nice result. Okay, so first things, light direction matching. You can see that everything starts from top. They have this light coming from the fork here and you can see that the lighting is seamless throughout. You can see the highlight here, you can see the highlight on the guy's face, you can see the highlight here. So the light is matching. It's matching throughout. Like there was only one sun here and for some reason this huge cheesecake and this environment were hitting by the same sun. With that in mind, one thing that I believe was a challenge for them is like, you are selling, you are selling a huge cheesecake here, which is not real, but since you have this other environment here, I believe they were trying to recreate the scale and use this Imagine that everything that is on top here is real in the real world, right? So you have this huge cheesecake, which compared to a regular size human, this would be like a little wall here, right? This would be like a little wall here. And I believe the challenge for Platino was to make sure that everything made sense, not only on the storytelling, because we see this guy having the fun, he's laying down here, He's with his dog, it's a nice day in the park. And you have the relationship of the colors and the colors, the tones, everything kind of blends together. You notice that on the bottom has a little more contrast, but I think you have to do that in order to recreate the scale. Why I'm talking so much about scale, guys? Because it needs to feel realistic. Like if you're assuming that this thing here on top is real everything else will di this is going to dictate everything else on the scene why do you say that hugo okay so we have the lighting coming on they want to make sure that you don't lose the sense of shape of the cheesecake which you can see they did a really good job here they even use some different elements to recreate the layers of the cake you have the middle and you have the top here, really nice. They use some shadowing to bring that sense of scale even more because you have to work with lighting on this case to, to, to show that your image is believable and is realistic. So you have this shadow here, you have this highlights going and you have this trick of putting kind of the top of a tree or at least the top of some leaves, because that gives you a sense that this is much higher. If this is much higher, like they're showing here, it means that this is kind of above this, but it gives you a sense of dimension because it's almost like, oh, okay, the camera needs to be high because you're looking at here, correct? But the camera, this is one, it's cons this is how the observer would see. This is one shot, right? So this tree is here, needs to be high. They even show you a little bit of the, of the roots here. So yes, the scale sells nicely. And everything you can see because the, the, the leaves on the floor are smaller and because of the other leaves are flying here, they're closer to the camera, they tend to get bigger. So great sense of scale there. I really like the, the color that you guys use with a warm tone, the single light coming from the top, from the, from the left uh, top. Really nice work, guys. I really love this. And some small details like you have this little sparks of light on these highlights here. It sells, it helps it sells. And they do a little vignette in here just to make a little dark, just to so show like, okay, the guy is laying down. The tree is up there. So you have a little sort of shadow going back, going on his back. 
I like the tones, that the tones talk to each other. I really like this, guys. Great job, Platino. You guys inspired me. Oh, one more thing. I think, just talking about, because Platino mix CGI and photograph so well. I already told you guys before, we have Leo Vilela, one of the greatest photographers of Brazil and in the world. And you have a crazy team for CGI. So let's just look at this here. Because I was looking and I feel like, I don't know. I feel like maybe this was a reference. This was real. This was a reference that Leo shot it. This is a real photography. And I think they recreated this in CG or they combine the C a base of photo for the lighting and they combine the CGI over. Why am I, am I saying that? Because you have these nice details, these drops, that sometimes it can be photography, but sometimes can be also computer generated. I don't know, to be honest. I am kind of confused, but I would say that it is combining both. On the image on the bottom, I believe the only thing that is real is the guy. I believe everything else is CG. The grass is CG, the pumpkin is CG, this is CG, maybe this, this thing here, no? I believe the leaves can be CG or photo, but because of the flow and everything, I think they are CG. So that's my guess. Great job, guys. Let's move to the other one now. With the other one, we see the same thing that we talk about. They do a really good job selling the lines of the cheesecake, making your eye goes all the way. They did a cool thing mix mixing the like a ball that the kids were playing with the cherries. Really nice here. Really nice touch. I like that. It's all small touches. And on this one, I believe it was a little harder to sell the sense of scale because this is all snow. And snow is white. And because the snow is white, it catches light and color from everything and transforms it depending on the environment that the snow is. So they did the awesome, so they find they found an awesome solution here because they did the lighting. Remember, we're talking about this cheesecake that is high, right? So they did in a way that the lighting was not passing through this part. It's almost like have a little wall and the kids were playing we're playing, we're just throwing balls of snow on each other and the other one was knowing the snow angel here. Awesome. So with that said, you can see that they separate this being a cool, so the light is not hitting. So it's the top of the, of the thing. And then on the sides, because they had to do the divisions. Remember we talked about here? So they did this part with the lighting blasting off which was a clever way to show the different layers. And they completed with some other stuff here. I believe this is all CG. I believe this is CG here. I believe this is fake snow, real, real CG. Uh, maybe a photo, I don't know, this edges seems like this can be just a stock photo cut off. And I feel like the this cake itself looks a little bit more CG for me because of this part. But knowing Lavalella and knowing the crazy people and awesome artists from Platinum, you'll never know. That's only my guess. Another thing that I want to say about this job, it's the lights, the lights, the highlights here hitting the person helps to sell, especially here. On, on the on the black kid's face, it helps a lot. On this case, it's a little harder for the sense of scale because on this one, you have more elements around. You have the leaves. The leaves help a lot on the sense of 
dimension and how high the camera is. On this one, it's a little more tricky because you also ha you have this kid, the kid is on the ground here. He's throwing through this and the other kid's on the ground here. So you to get a sense of scale from this, you go from here to the top here and you have the marks on the snow, which makes sense. It matches with their, their feet here. And you have the balls that continue to be kind of the same size as the cherries to show that this here and this here are on the same. Imagine this is just one background here. So that makes sense. And you have the camera. They did, they did the job in a way that you see the camera higher. So it gives you a sense of scale that matches the idea and helps to sell this visual in a perfect way. All right, guys, this is the Digital Artist React Behance Speaks with Platinum FMD. And if you, if you don't follow them, go follow them on, on Behance. They are one of my favorite people, super cool people, super talented people. And remember, we're here on this channel. We're here to bring you inspiration and try to, with this Behance Speaks, we're going to go more technical. We're going to go try to figure out how does these people res uh, receive this briefing and how do these people solve these problems. But remember, I'm not talking to them. I don't know what the hell happened. So we're going to be guessing here. All right. So have a good week, guys. Behance Speaks will be back next week.